in these problems, we have two term polynomials. So here's a term, this 14u to the ninth, w to the seventh, x to the third, and then a second term, a negative 28u to the sixth, w to the eighth. And what we're being asked to do is factor out uh, the greatest common factor. So what can we pull out of both of these things in common? And the way to go about this is to take it a piece at a time. Let's look at the numbers first. I see 14, I see 28. The first thing I think is, oh, they're both divisible by seven. But then I realize, oh, well, 14 is times two is 28. So really they're both divisible by 14. So I'm gonna pull out, factor out a 14. When I factor something out, I put it outside the parentheses. And actually, I need to give myself more room because there's going to be more than just that 14 out there. There's going to be uh, these variable terms as well. When you factor it out, you divide it over here. So we're dividing both of these. What I'm left with um, here is a negative 2. What I'm left with here is a 1. And since this is multiplied by everything else, I don't even need to write that. It's like it goes away. Okay, so we've dealt with the number part. Let's move on to the u. Here I have u to the ninth, and here I have u to the sixth. The way to think about this is find the, the, the smaller exponent, and that's what you can factor out. So I can factor out a u to the sixth. That works because here, u to the ninth divided by u to the sixth leaves me a u to the third. Remember, when you divide exponents, you, you subtract them. So u to the ninth uh, divided by u to the sixth is u to the third. And here, u to the sixth divided by u to the sixth is one. And again, all this stuff is multiplied, so I don't even have to write it. Multiplying by one doesn't change anything. All right, let's go on to the w's next. I have w to the seventh and w to the eighth. Again, I'm going to divide by, factor out the smaller exponent. So w to the seventh. Here I divide by w to the seventh and it becomes a one, so it's like it disappears. Here, w to the eighth divided by w to the seventh leaves w to the first power or just w. And I'm putting that over here because this is in that second term. And then finally, we have this x to the third here and no x term here. So I just have to leave that on my first term, so x to the third. And there is our answer. What we factored out was 14 u to the sixth w to the seventh. And what was left after we did that is u to the third x to the third minus 2w. That's a lot of steps and it can look a little confusing. So let's try one more for practice. So remember, we're going to have something out here that we factored out. We're going to have something left in the parentheses. It's going to have two terms. In this case, it's a minus sign in between them. So we'll put that minus sign there. And then let's just start with the numbers. What can we divide both of these by? Well, 27 is divisible by 9, so we're going to divide by 9. That means we're factoring out the 9, so I'll put the 9 out here. 9 divided by 9 is 1. Don't even have to write that. 27 divided by 9 is 3. So we've got a 3 there. Now let's try the v's. You always want to factor out the smaller exponent, which would be v to the second here. So we're dividing by v to the second v to the second divided by v to the second is 1. Don't have to write it. v to the eighth divided by v to the second, subtracting the exponents, that's v to the sixth. So what's left in the first term is v to the sixth. Let's try the w's. We have w to the seventh and w to the eighth. So we're going to factor out the w to the seventh. Here, dividing by w to the seventh. So here, that leaves just 1. Don't have to write that w to the eighth divided by w to the seventh is w to the first. So that's just a single w there. And then we have this y to the ninth and no y's over there. So we can't factor anything out. They don't have it in common. So that just stays in our first term. So we end up with nine v to the second w to the seventh. That's the piece we factored out. And once we're done factoring that out, we've divided both those terms by that. We get v to the sixth y to the ninth minus three w. So that is how to factor out a monomial from a polynomial.